Hi guys, this is Duncan from dunksweb.com with a video review of Webcam Max, a program that allows you to have a virtual webcam and apply effects. This will be useful for those of you who are live streaming, doing things on Ustream.tv, Justin.tv, and also those of you who have instant messengers and like going on webcam to your non-geeky friends and showing them all the fancy effects that you can do. So you can actually buy the software here, but you'll notice that there's a link that says Get Webcam Max, one year license free with trial pay. This is what I went through with, I went to trial pay, you basically sign up to an offer, I went for the eMusic offer, which is a free trial, I simply signed up with my card and then cancelled it. So I've now got, as you can see, trial pay order is complete, I've now got the Webcam Max one year license, which would cost normally $2.50 a month for free and as you can see it gives me the activation key which I've hidden for this but yeah that's how I got it for free and that's how I can show this for you guys today now you may know that when I first started with YouTube I used Webcam Max I had the six month license with this um, but I was trying to use it for screen tutorials and it really does not work for that so I highly recommend not using it for screen tutorials so here you can see we have Webcam Max and I'm just going to go on the main source as the webcam hello how you doing right you can see you can choose which one you have here I have the Minicam Virtual Webcam as well. If you don't know about Minicam, it is a freeware alternative to this, but it doesn't feel as good quality as this, if I'm really honest, but it's definitely worthy checking out as a free alternative. I'm just gonna stick with my live cam here. You can choose the screen. As you can see, this is why I was choosing this as a screen recorder. You can move this around, follow the cursor. You can also follow a specific area, full screen. So very useful stuff. You can broadcast a movie out to your friends on Instant Messenger or out. If you've made something, and you want to broadcast it to them for free. You've got the picture here, you can add a slideshow if you're doing something or if you're idle and you just want to have it cycling through a load of pictures for example on a broadcast then you can do that through this. Go to the colour, for some reason you might want to do this and also you can clear everything out. So if I have the main source as the webcam and I'll choose this button down here, this is the reason I went for this software in the first place. Minicam does not support picture in picture so this actually does so I simply need to do my screen because I'm actually considering doing some uh, live streams with things like this in the future so as you can see I can just move this around if I want I can swap them around if I wanted to just make this bigger make this smaller and then I can have my screen capture and me in the corner talking so it's very very cool stuff simply easy to clear or you can use this little button up here and that will clear the source for you so I'm gonna keep myself on the webcam here I'm gonna click the effects and there's a bunch of different things here I do like this little blood fire one so I'm just gonna click that and then I move my hand and it looks like really funky you can apply more than one effect if you wish and you can see that the current effects are at the top. If you really want to go geeky into it, you click this little button there and you can go straight into the effect properties and really change and customise everything if you wish. I'm just going to cancel that effect for the minute. Now I'm actually using this on Windows 7 64 bit and if I try to create a new effect it says that. So I did have an error when I first started this on Windows 7 64 bit but they do have an alpha version available on download.com uh, for aimed at 64 bit and better operating systems so what you can also do is add masks I like this because you can if I go for a uh, let's go for glasses shall we because it'll detect where your eyes are so if I kind of works maybe not try again if you move your head slightly you can try and do it again as you can see it's not perfect but it's just a rough demonstration you can try and get it perfect if you wish but it's kind of worked out where my eyes are so Note that Minicam does also offer this feature. Now you can go online and download some extra effects if you need to, but there's quite a lot already built in, so I'll do Distorting Mirror. Way, way. Now I could just do this all day and show you all the effects, but I'm not going to to save you some time. But very cool stuff, and you can have more than one effect if you wish. You can also doodle, as you can see, if I try and do like an outline of my head. My strange looking head. And then move my head away. That looks like a tooth or something. <laughs> anyway, you can do that as well, and then you can undo things, and so it must. Be, it's pretty cool if you want to do that. And again, you can cancel it. And you can also do like standard features you could get with a snap, uh, so you can just re yeah, take a picture of yourself and then record it if you wish to. So I recommend this program if you're streaming, but if you want to record yourself with effects, then maybe you might want to use Minicam. If you want to just record your webcam, you may want to use something called Debut, but. For streaming purposes, especially for that picture-in-picture -picture function, I recommend Webcam Max. So I'm going to give this an 8 out of 10, 7.5 out of 10, mainly because you can do a lot of this stuff with free stuff, and they don't really bring that much new to the table other than picture-in-picture. -picture. So that's about it really. Thanks for watching my video. Please comment, rate, check out more reviews on Dunk's Web, and thanks again.